advice because I have some nice friends who are only in 2020. And they gave me um, a spectacles because of the problem, because the problem is high. So they gave me some spectacles for that. It will protect me from, uh, from the first thing to pass. Um, I see it's one. The most important thing to tell him is that this is a benign, completely benign. It's just like when you have weeds that grow, it doesn't actually cause problems. Like it's not going to kill her, but it's just a fatty tumor that keeps growing as she's growing. Okay. The surgery has been as usual. We, I think we have become used to long hours of working and doing surgeries to bring sight to people who otherwise would not have the service. So I think today is one of the normal days for us. This is just the first step. So having done the surgery doesn't mean the problem is finished. It is what is even left is more important. So we have to see them tomorrow and be sure they are doing pretty well. 
give their medications so that the pain, irritation, and uh, blurriness will also go faster. And then after tomorrow, we see them in a week. One week's time, we have to come and see them and be sure that they are getting better. We take their visual acuity and then we give them medications once again. Then after the one week, we will come back in two weeks. Also to come and see them, take their visual acuity and give them medications. Then we give them one month from that time to come back. We come and see them, do visual acuity. And at that time we can decide to do refraction for all of them, those who we think needs to improve their vision, we will do some refraction. And then we will give them the advice that we, we have and those who will need eyeglasses to improve their vision, we will advise them to use eyeglasses. Traveling to these areas has always not been easy, but we always love to go because we want those, especially in these remote areas, to also get access to free eye care delivery. We pray for more funds, or we pray that more hands will come on board to help fight avoidable blindness in Ghana. I think it's great that you've been able to screen so many people and bring them to Dr. Wanyu and Friends Eye Center. Given the fact that there's so few ophthalmologists in Ghana, I think the screening method and then bringing them to places where either Dr. Wanye or specialists from the U.S. like uh, Project Thea, who also came during this trip, um, if they can help these patients and uh, essentially give them some access to care that they wouldn't have uh, normally had, I think it's wonderful. I think we can continue to grow it and improve it. and especially for us, uh, I'm representing the Eye Foundation of America on this trip, but if we can help screen the school children especially and get them either glasses or surgeries that they may need, and the follow-up is so important so that they know that they need to be doing certain things. If they can do all of that, I think it would make a very big difference for all the rural areas, more rural areas we've got.
We were excited that we would be able to help this young boy come up, see again, and be able to go to school and become somebody in the future. Um, but we thank God everything went fine. He had a congenital cataract, that means he was born with it, and his, this is his fourth year. Um, but we were seeing already some complications, uh, what we call nystagmus, the eye moving, checking. So usually if it is not done early enough, then you have such complications coming in and the eye becomes lazy. So even at a later age, if you do it, he will not see any um, marked improvement. And so it's always good to do it at a very early age. I think one of the biggest difficulties here is usually for the kids after the surgery, how to open their eyes for us to drop, put the eye drops well. So that's why we are telling the mother, right now it is her responsibility. She traveled all the way to come here. We've had the surgery done. We are going to give her medications. The rest of the job, is for her to do. So we have taught her how to put the drugs so that we don't get complications afterwards, especially so we don't get infection in the eyes. Okay, um, they were good. Um, I actually was uh, fortunate to be able to participate and restore sight to a number of uh, citizens of this community that were previously blind. Um, this morning, when we opened the bandages, uh, there were lots of jubilation, smiles from faces that were previously gloomy. And for us, this is what keeps us going. There were a few which had complications because the cataracts had stayed there for quite some time. But apart from that, uh, um, everything went smoothly. Yeah.